These two plants have been in my collection for many years and this is a clump, a very attractive clump of Euphorbia uh, submammillaris variety Firstorfii and um, I suppose it's about five, six years old now, maybe more. It's formed a nice clump. The interesting thing about this, apart from being very common in collections, its origin in habitat and in the wild is completely unknown. It only exists as a cultivar. And that may be suggested it's a hybrid. Um, certainly this plant rarely, if ever, flowers in cultivation. But it's not the only euphorbia of unknown origin. I'll show you another one as well. This is Euphorbia trigona, again, a very common plant in collections. Um, and in Africa, it's grown in cultivation as a small tree. My plant is, as you can see, probably about five feet tall. And it needs to be held up with um, raffia, uh, otherwise it would just fall over under in its own weight. But again, the other thing about this plant to, uh, to bear in mind is that it has no origin in the wild. No one knows where it originally came from. And I don't know how many plants there are like this um, that have no origin, but it's very interesting. Um, why would there be plants like this that can't be found anywhere in the wild? It's certainly a very rare thing. So thanks for watching and um, I hope you found this interesting. If you did like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks.